Have you ever had a near-death experience? Your car swerves, a fall that should have broken your neck, a disease you somehow survived. And afterward you ask yourself, why am I still here? Quantum physicists have a bizarre and unsettling answer. Maybe you did die, just not in this version of reality. This is the strange idea of quantum immortality, a mind-bending consequence of something called the many-worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics. Let's break it down. In classical physics, when something happens, it happens in one timeline. That's it. But in quantum physics, particles don't have just one future. They exist in a superposition of all possibilities. And when a measurement occurs, or when reality decides, the universe doesn't pick one outcome. Instead, it branches. There's a version where Schrodinger's cat is alive, and a version where it's dead. Both are real. Each exists in a separate, parallel universe. It's, this is many worlds. A universe constantly splitting infinitely at every quantum decision point. So where does quantum mortality come in? Now imagine you're the cat. You're the observer in this scenario. Each time you face death, through chance, disease, accident, there are branches where you die and branches where you survive by the narrowest margin. But here's the kicker. From your perspective, your consciousness can only continue in the versions where you survive. You never wake up dead. In the versions where you die, you're gone. But in those where you live, even improbably, you're still here. You go on. So theoretically, from your own subjective point of view, you are immortal. Not in body or in glory, but in the sense that you never experience death. Someone watching you from the outside might see you die. But you, from within, just keep going. Over time, the odds of surviving get smaller and smaller. But there's always a version of you that, that pulls through. That wakes up again, and again, and again until you're the last conscious mind in a broken body in a dead universe, or until technology or evolution makes you truly immortal. Quantum mortality doesn't promise eternal youth or happiness, just that, from your perspective, you'll never not be. So next time you cheat death, ask yourself, did I just slip into a branch where I lived? Again? And if so, how many versions of me have already died? Quantum physics may never fully answer that, but it might suggest the most haunting truth of all. You may live forever whether you want to or not.